You got this many delays on your mix, all of them automated? Mmm, then your mixes are not sexy enough. Stay tuned, Kush After Hours. One of my favorite things of all time, effects. If you're not using effects in your mixes, wake up, you gotta use effects. If you're doing any kind of dance music, pop, folk, indie, this just doesn't matter. You want effects. You don't always want to hear the effect. In fact, I would say more often than not for me, I want what I call the effect of the effect. I don't want to actually hear a reverb ringing out, obviously. Um, I just want it to be doing its job in terms of helping to position things front to back spatially in a mix. Reverb is a very fashionable thing. It comes and goes uh, right now in 2020. Reverb is extremely fashionable and you can put anything on a vocal from a good old fashioned dank plate to a hollowed out spooky chamber to a really frigid and slappy tiled bathroom kind of cheap reverb effect. This is everything goes now. And Automating effects, it's not something people often think of because they tend to set the effects and forget it. Um, and I think if, if you don't automate your effects or if you don't set up effects that are specially designed to be automated and only appear when they're automated, you're really missing opportunities to add drama and color. This is the theme of this episode here. When I say automating effects, it can be anything from when you've got a, a vocal in a verse and it's going into a reverb and it's going into a delay and then the section is building up and it's ramping into a pre-chorus a lot of times it's interesting to dry the voice up in these moments drying a voice up has the effect of bringing it closer and making it feel more intimate or making it feel more urgent um, or claustrophobic if you want to create a, an emotional space around it using those kinds of textures sometimes you want to do the opposite especially when it's almost cliche but there's a reason for it, which is that it's effective. And I generally encourage people to be effective in whatever they're doing. Uh, when you hit a chorus, um, nine times out of 10, a professional mixer is gonna be riding up more effects in the chorus than have been happening before the chorus. That means taking whatever you're sending the vocal into and driving the send even more into that reverb or having a completely different send into a completely different reverb and then you're turning that one up so that there's a whole new, oftentimes longer and darker or longer and brighter reverb just for the choruses, for the vocals. Um, delays, I have over the vocals in my mixes, sometimes I will have six, seven, even eight different delays set up and half of them are sitting idle for most of the song and then they only come in in specific moments because I'll automate the, it's called a throw, an effect throw. I'll just throw the vocal in. Um, it could be for a single word. This is something that um, I believe began its life in dub music in the 70s, an offshoot of reggae, where these guys would just be baked out of their gourd and they would be remixing these uh, reggae tracks and the, they're just plugging along instrumentally and then the vocal which has been muted the whole time they would just jam that fader up and and it would go out into the echo and ring out like that and it just created this sort of spooky psychedelic effect you don't have to be doing 70s og dub music for this uh, to work in your music it's oftentimes really effective to throw the first word of the chorus or if there's a specific word for dramatic effect where somebody's like uh, to use a cliche lyric something like you know baby don't leave me and you throw me into there me 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 it rings out just uh, you know, use your judgment and use your taste because that's all we got and figure out mine these moments in the arrangement figure out is there a moment when i can take the guitar and throw it into an extra long spring reverb for a second or maybe it's every other if the guitar is doing something skanky and jink 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 Maybe every other one, you're taking the time to sit there and throw that thing into the automation, getting it into the spring reverb every other hit. There's, there's a million ways that you can do this stuff. But again, try to step outside the box of just having flat linear effects that are always sitting there all the time and figure out what are moments that I can can pull out of this song you'll generally feel them in your body if you're tuned in to your body as a reactive instrument to the mix that you're doing you'll feel like huh there was something there 
there was something there. You'll just know that and you'll be like, then you got to figure out what that was that hit you and how you can amplify it to make sure that, that it's not so subtle that it just passes listeners by and to make sure that you're spotlighting it in the right ways. Uh, or a lot of times it's the opposite. You'll be plugging along in a mix and everything is feeling great. Maybe you even tune out and you're thinking about walking your dog later and then like something happens in the mix and you lose that feeling. And those are the moments when you've got to figure out, okay, what... What's causing this energy dip here? What am I not calling out? What am I not pushing? And a lot of times, those are moments that are ripe for just finding the right effect, the right uh, dose of weirdness, uh, or just something a little bit left of center. Um, if it can be a unique or a one-off thing, those are, for me, oftentimes the most rewarding and special things in a mix or a production is just this effect that you hear once. Maybe you have to listen to the song 300 times before you even notice it, and it's in headphones in a dark room, and you're like, oh my god, I never heard that. And then it just becomes this little treasure that you get to enjoy every time you hear the song. So... These are the powerful things that automation can do for you in your mixes. Thanks for tuning in. I'm Gregory Scott. This has been Kush After Hours. Till next time.